and welcome to Rocks. This is a uh, cable access television program. Yeah, we make it. I'm Jay, and I'm the bartender. And I'm B. I'm the editor. And this week we're celebrating our 75th episode of Rocks. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing this for like two and a half years, and now it's our semi-sesquicentennial. Yeah, a big 75-cent uh, word that we broke out especially for this occasion. We'll explain about that in a moment. But first, we wanted to explain where we are. Yeah, this is the house where we first started making this TV show. Your house. My old house, yeah. We, we, we were in that basement, um, and uh, we'll actually show a clip from that basement right now. That's it that you're looking at. That's where, that's the original set, this basement, right here. Those were the old days. Now we had a totally different approach, of course, to um, video, but a different approach to the televisual medium. We were using a, a handheld camcorder as we're using now. We mounted it on a tripod and just left it there you know, and I'm rambled there. on drunkenly for like yeah, half an hour or so. A million times in print, and not once have I figured out what it means. H-O-A-R-Y. Why? Why? Yeah, because uh, no. it's horrid, that's why. Okay, tell me about this word, Mark. It could yeah. be um, very tiresome. Yeah. And now, of course, we've learned to be tiresome in an, an entirely different way. Yeah, we hold the camera ourselves, as B is doing right now. So it seems like it's like some kind of sophisticated tracking shot, and you're wondering, God, how much money did they spend to, to hire the special gyroscope equipment that's required to do something like that? Well, it doesn't cost anything at all. I'm just holding it in my hand, as you can see there, that hand. Of course, now I'm holding it in my other hand which you can see over there. It's confusing maybe, but it makes sense yet. We used to talk about just stupid things and have stupid conversations, and these days we're intellectual and in-depth on every occasion. Yeah. Especially this occasion, because it's an occasion for celebration. 75, 75 episodes strong. In open celebration of this stupendous thing, Jay here, our professional bartender, is going to mix you a drink. The very first drink that we mixed, quote unquote, on this program, was a, a scotch on the rocks um, in honor of the name, J and B on the rocks. It was this bad pun that we came up with because I'm J and he's B, you know. Um, well, you know, we've gotten rid of the J and B on the part of the title, but we still have the rocks. And to symbolize that, I'm going to mix this uh, scotch on the rocks, except actually um, I don't have any ice. So um, it's no kind rocks? of straight up um, because, you know, we're straight up right now, and at least until we've uh, had too much to drink, and then we'll probably be lying down. You're wondering, what's the point? Well, see, this show used to glorify the responsible use of alcohol. Now we've, we've given up on the responsible part, and we just focus on debauchery. Tasty, huh? <laughs> kind of taking stock, kind of looking at where we are and saying, well, where are we? Where was I? I've lost yeah. my train of thought again. He keeps doing that. Um, oh, yes, we did like seven, eight episodes. What? down there in the basement. So we're drunk and talking about sex, man. So we're drunk and we're drunk and we're drunk and we're drunk and talking about sex, man. And yeah. then things started to get crazy. Well, I moved, see, was, that was the problem. I moved to a different place. B and I actually moved in together. Oh my God. Um, at 521 North Washington. And well, why don't we go over there? Ah, uh, there it is, the old haunt, the old pad. The old haunted pad. So here we are at 521 North Washington. This is where B and I first lived together. This is the old bachelor pad where it was a really exciting time in our lives. We continued to do this show for some reason. Um, I guess just pure stubbornness. We actually contacted these people, and I think they know we're coming. Upstairs. It's an upstairs apartment. Yep. Let's go on in. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, oh. Welcome J and B. Um, uh-oh. Yeah, these people clearly knew that we're coming, so. Oh, hey, oh, how's it going? Hey, oh my god, look. It's a video Welcome. camera. Video Welcome camera. to our humble home. Uh, video files all. Let us, uh, let us, uh, repay you for your, uh, many, many, many hours and hours of beautiful entertainment that you have provided for us. Oh, goodness. Getting stoned on television. Everybody's doing it these days. <laughs> it's the new thing. Why don't you try? I'm 
Bye, Mom. <laughs> well, um, gosh, this is the kind of hospitality that uh, that I can appreciate. The way it should be. Now it seems like every day I sit and wonder why the government doesn't want me to get high. I guess they prefer for me to just drink, man. They don't even know, nor do they care. What the first I night we were here, he went to bed early, and I was out here, and I had gotten really stoned. And your, it happened to be a Tuesday night, and mm -hmm. the show was on, and. Next thing I knew, I, rec I started recognizing little things about mm -hmm. around the house. I was like, oh my god, we live in JMB's house. And we were like, <laughs> it's pretty wild. <laughs> it was wild. Hey, hey somebody's hey. at the door. Let's see who it is. Oh, okay. hey, where? <laughs> who is it? Oh, it is Christy. Oh, it's so Hi. Cool. Hi. Hey. Hey. JMB. Hi. Whoa, look at this. I Hello. can't believe this apartment. <laughs> <laughs> The Pope scum was in this to this bathtub. Oh yeah, Mary Frances's Pope scum. We'll have to show that. That was my favorite moment from this house. I discovered this morning that we have the image of the Pope in the soap scum in our bathtub. As you can see, here's his little papal hat. Here are his eyes. Here's his ear. Well, it has to do something uh, with the importance of Catholicism in all of our lives, in our lives and in the lives of those we love. B and Christy started doing the old, you know, Hi. that upstairs in the attic. Why don't we go upstairs to the attic? I like to get blown off the nice dang buzz of the hydro. This is crazy. I haven't been up here in, in like a year and a half. It's wacky. I feel like the old days. As B noted, uh, when we lived over at 7-Eleven East Cottage Grove, we uh, usually le left the camera on a tripod. Well, it was at this residence that we actually picked up the camera and started moving around. Now, there was a, a functional reason for that. It wasn't uh, any kind of artistic decision, <laughs> let me assure you. <laughs> um, there was, a, there was a functional reason. We couldn't find a good set in this place. See, we had that basement, which was a really good set for making a TV show. Well, you know, this attic is okay, but as you can see, it's dark, and it was hard to make it not dark. And it's, it's kind of frightening to walk around here, actually, because there are no floorboards. Um, and you can stumble, like, um, over yourself, especially if you're stoned, which we were <laughs> when we made most of those early episodes. And are now. And are now. <laughs> so it's, we're kind of going back to our roots in some ways. So we um, haven't really gotten anywhere after yeah, 75 yeah. episodes. Congratulations yeah. to on us. nothing. Oh, there she goes, kitty. Wow. Um, it loosened Surprise. the walls. Holy shit. Up in this attic, actually, we had a friend who lived here over the winter. Uh, and he kind of fixed it up a little and slept here. It was cold, you know, didn't get really heated and stuff, but uh, he liked it that way. And he was a freak of the first magnitude. Let me assure you, he still is. Uh, here's <laughs> him. <laughs> and uh, also Moon Boy. He's had video fun, and he knows how to create things. He's had video fun. And That's right, toast is down with the video fun. He's, he's had video fun, he's had video fun, he's had video fun, my friend, tell you what he does. Do. He's video fun and he knows how. Two men whom you don't even know playing with guns in very interesting ways. You saw it here. This episode, I'm just practicing my segues, um, and so right now, I thought I'd show you this. I'm hardcore, Bart. You already knew that. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is an impromptu. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. I ain't taking your big lot skin if you don't shut the goddamn door! <coughs> Estimated number of Tupperware parties and demonstrations held each day Worldwide. Each day. Worldwide. Each day, worldwide. Worldwide, mind you. 32,000. Well, looky here, it also says the estimated total number of acts of sexual intercourse among human beings each day worldwide, 100 million. So you can put that in your Tupperware and smoke it. Yeah. 
So, uh, we thought we'd mix a drink here for our former landlord, CFC. This is, will be called a CFC punch. This is rum, by the way, here. Um, put about an ounce in there. Brandy. B&J is the brand that we have here. Um, because we're, or wait, no, that's an E. Gosh. A spoon, because we're having honey in this. Um, yes, a CFC punch, of course, has some honey in it, because, you know, there, there was some sweetness involved in living in this, uh, in this abode. You want to just kind of stir it in there. Um, it'll take a little while to melt, but just just persist and blabber like I'm doing. Now we have some gra some ginger here, which we're going to grate in here. Um, ginger, of course, is is uh, a a spicy kind of root type thing um, that uh, I thought was appropriate to this because we're basing this, of course, on the kill devil, which is uh, which means kill devil. Right. I'm going to taste this. <laughs> Wow. Wow. It's got quite a punch. It's a CFC punch, but they're not your landlord anymore. It's right? based on the kill no, devil. No. Yeah. Which they is are not our landlord, so let's drink so, up. Yeah. Definitely has a punch, I must say. <laughs> the punch is in its kick when it hits you. It's really warm and just, just warms you up. This isn't an actual punch, we should probably note. This is more of a symbolic punch. So if you have a landlord that you hate, we suggest you punch them. They told us around February that uh, maybe we could rent again and maybe we couldn't. And uh, for several months they kept saying that. And come on, uh, I guess, uh, June it was, they, uh, they finally told us, in fact, you can't rent this place again. We were booted. <laughs> we had to move to a different place. Um, 344 South Dunn, and so um, without further ado, I thought I'd segue blatantly to that location. So here we are. We've uh, we've returned to uh, our our most recent former abode, 344 South Dunn, um, right here on the uh, just south of the IU campus, here in lovely Bloomington, Indiana. Now, supposedly these people are expecting us, but oh look, to J and B. Welcome back and Merry Christmas from Santa. Santa. There's some people in there. Let's uh, let's check it out. Hey. Oh, they're saying come in. Come in. Hello. Uh -oh. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? What's up? Not much. Why don't you introduce yourself? Okay, I'm Jay Barbus. Hi. I'm a sincere, oh, real Jay. As opposed to me, I'm I'm kind a of pseudo. a pseudo <laughs> asshole, um, insincere buffoon Whoa. Jay. I'm Scott Donahue, and I am a little tired this afternoon. Yeah, I noticed you're hanging out here. Are you, you, are you sick or, or no, just tired? No, just, just tired, from, a little hungover from last night. Wow, this is wacky. So this place looks a little more familiar than the last place well, did. We just, we just moved out of here the other day. Yeah, I know. The stove top is a little like ours, got. B, check it out, man. Look, it's a mixed drink wall chart. Wow, they even have rolling chairs, chairs here. With wow, this on is exciting. Bus. What? Yeah. Wow. Um, excuse me, but I think I'd like to move the stock over to... Help! Help! <laughs> it's the party room! Yeah! Woo! That didn't pan out. No, nobody no. came. Wow. It is freezing in this room. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> It is freezing in here. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, when we lived here, it was nice and toasty warm. And we've got footage of, of some video stuff to prove it. So I don't understand what everybody's complaining about. I think it's really nice and warm in here in our house. Um, you just have to you just have to have the, the right attitude, you know, you put on your coat and oh it's nice and clothes. I think I think Christy and Kelly are just crybabies. I've decided to play it safe by using this safe and very oil-filled electric radiator. It's totally safe, safe and sure. I'm still freezing to death. And I think it's better to be unsafe like warm, because she's warm. Let's go take a look. So okay. come on, come on down here. It's the warmest room in the entire house. It's a uh, do in part and well all all together because of this unsafe heater that I have. 
and you can probably hear it going right now. It's a very unsafe, very loud. But you know, it's so warm in here. So this is what I get for being unsafe. I must say that safety wins out in the end because, well, I get to maintain this svelte shape and I don't have to find a babysitter. <laughs> Christy, do you think you could babysit? I don't think so. Why don't you just stay home and cradle the baby in front of this thing? So, yes, we're, we're back here in the old haunt, yeah, so think, to speak. I think you should um, loosen up the tie. Yeah, I'm going to have to loosen up my tie here. And actually, um, it's only appropriate at this point that we uh, mix another drink, so... Citrus drop and Kahlua? A slammer, a version of a slammer. If you will. Okay, this is what we call a slammer. We'll call it a big K slammer. Well, we have the Purdue shot, we have the Michigan us. shot. We're going to go a Purdue shot of Kahlua, approximately. <laughs> Increase this. Whoops. And splash a big K. Boy. Splash a big K. And you go. <laughs> and that must be why it's a slammer. That's why it's a slammer, right there. Jay is schooled in the art of bartending. Mm, <laughs> yes, he, uh, he seems to have a glass here, and he's poured stuff into it. And Yeah, yeah, he's poured in some other stuff. Right I'm here. supposed to cover this, right, right. before I okay, slam it on the table. Take it over Okay. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Oh, goodness gracious me. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Well, you know, there's only one word that I can use to describe this, and that's uh, potable. Fit to drink, I guess, is what I mean by that. Fit to be drunk. Fit to be drunk, yeah. So how does this make you feel coming back here, B? Real excited. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All the way, baby. I'm loving this. I can't get enough of it. Let's move back in. It reminds me, in fact, of this past summer. Summer of 94. Mm-hmm. Long, dry summer. We had just made Jane B get baked, and, um, and that we just smoked marijuana on television. We didn't even realize the, the full implications of that act. I don't think it had ever been done before. And afterwards, we were, we were mighty paranoid. Um, and so, you know, we made sure not to have any marijuana around the house and so forth. So, so I called it the long, dry summer. But actually, you know, friends would stop by every few hours yeah. with joints in hand to congratulate us. Here's some footage of us, uh, of me and T. Black, actually, very, very stoned, talking about the long dry summer here. It's so humid here. Doesn't, I mean, that implies water, right? Well, how come it's so dry if it's humid? Uh, my tongue is sticking to my mouth. It is dry, man. Yeah. This is a dry summer. <laughs> when I was at, <laughs> when I was at my career job in Indianapolis, there was a drought then about five years ago, right? My career job. Because like everybody that's starting to graduate is realizing, geez, man, I'm gonna have to get a job that sucks for a while. Well, I got laid off with that job that sucked for a while. And it left me with no practical experience to continue the pursuit of my career. <laughs> so what could you do but pierce your nose? I had no other choice. Was I gonna let them well, hang me? Yeah, well, why not? Yeah, there were four of us that lived here together. Four of us, B and I, and Christy Paxson, and, uh, and then Kelly Worm, and then Jenny kind of moved in toward the end, so there were five. And uh, well, T. Black lived here for a while. It was a communal type atmosphere, and so it's only appropriate to mix a drink. Oh, a commie communion. It was kind of communal, and so therefore, you need some hot damn cinnamon schnapps, mm -hmm. which we have here. Pour some in there. Um, about um, three quarters of an ounce, or and uh, then add some grenadine because you know red and red are important. Um... Kami, kami, kami. Yes, yes. Vodka <laughs> for communion. <laughs> yeah, and then taste this drink, the kami communion. Isn't that a song by Boy George? Kami, 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 kami communion, <laughs> boy. God, I can understand why we moved out of here. That bad. <laughs> yeah, have a taste. <laughs> oh, no, no, you gotta give a drink to. Uh... That's it's like those little hot balls almost. So. Candy for Whoa. children. Delicious. <laughs> I highly recommend this drink to all the viewers out there. For our 75th episode, did we mention that this is a celebration, a semi sesquicentennial celebration, and in fact, that is our vocabulary word this, for this week. week. Semi sesquicentennial. Now, you may have not have heard of that one before. We kind of had to. Um, Invented, of course, a sesquicentennial is 150. Um, 
Well, this is half of that, so semi. Okay, so 75 isn't really a, a very big deal. But, oh, it's a very big deal. But we thought, um, what the hell? Why don't we go downstairs and see what this place looks like where I used to live, my bedroom. <laughs> wow. This is where I lived. This is my room. <laughs> Nothing spectacular about the room here. I uh, except, that except that it's uh, my room, and we can hear the mice in the hall or in the walls. So what goes on here? Uh, basically not much. Not much studying, sleeping. Well, you got the and calendar on drinking. the wall over there? Well, yeah, that's self-explanatory there, I think. <laughs> and, uh, we had yeah. several special moments there together. Our first special moments together, actually. Let's <laughs> call me that. Yeah, special in that room. <laughs> Down in the bell. I don't know. I think it's pretty disgusting. But now yeah. that I see the two together, it's kind yeah. of a disgusting thought right well, now. I don't know if I can sleep in there anymore. Imagine if you could see that right now. I, I don't want to picture that thought right now. Oh my I'm going to have well, We're going to impose tonight. it upon you with this clever segue. Kidding. As you know, now Jenny is uh, part of my life, and we're kind of a duo now. Well, more of a couple, actually. B and I are more of a duo. Jenny and I, it's a couple thing. I was just explaining how Satan is my ruler. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we eventually moved out of this place, and uh, we're going to do just that right now, leave and, and go on to the next place where I now um, currently live, but probably not when you see this, because uh, I'm moving again sometime soon. So. Don't come over. <laughs> B, what are you doing, man? Uh... Well, you know, it is our 75th episode, mm -hmm. so we thought we'd stack them up for you. I mean, exactly what does that add up to? 75 shows, 75 videotapes. Pretty fucking amazing. Yeah, but of course, it all may come crashing down at any moment. So uh, we're here in, in uh, Ballantyne Hall um, with uh, Jenny Beasley and our wireless microphone system um, talking about some very important statistical issues, kind of a, a, a historical analysis, if you will, of uh, rocks and, and all that it has been and all that it's going to be. So and, you've already done the work for the scholars. Right, exactly. video age. Yeah. We thought we'd help all you uni university professors out there out, you know, and, and get you f started on the right foot with this handy analysis of episode lengths. It's um, a prependix. We've got, uh, you know, the number of minutes that, uh, that each episode is, and these are the episode numbers as they progress from one on up to where we are right now, which is like 75 or 76 or something like that. That's 75! Semi-sesquicentennial. We started out and, uh, and, you know, we had wildly varying <clears throat> creativity going on. It was just a wacky, spacey, freaky time of life. As you can see, um, there, were, there were all these high points, um, very high points. Um, but that was before I, I had burnout, you know, and, and before I fell and hit my head on the ice in episode number 52, at which point, you know, we kind of have, have uh, died, and, and now we're just kind of flatlining, um, which is symbolic, really, of, of the uh, mental and, and social space which we inhabit at this time. You know, lines and, and, and you know, numbers just don't say it all. And, and so Jenny Beasley has prepared for you a kind of more subjective, three-dimensional, except it's still two-dimensional, but three-dimensional analysis of... Of the uh, history yes. of rocks. Now, it's not the concrete um, ABC representation. Let's say this area right here is the little bubbles of ideas that come up. They just crop up wherever, you, wherever we go. Here's something missing right here. Well, where did that go? Oh, well, that's over here in episode 53. So there's all these chunks of um, things going on at the same, not at the same time, but throughout time. Well, it's all beginning to make sense, clearly. Um, Jenny Beasley, <laughs> archivist, intellectual philosopher, um, here for you um, with me, for us. 
and you. To explain, we're actually here at 713 East Cottage Grove. This is where Joe and Jenny live now. Actually, I don't live here, but, you know, uh, that's because we don't live together anymore. Yeah. But this is where we get together a lot of times to videotape to the, the show, show yeah. and so forth. And now, right now, now, we're actually right next door to where we started. I mean, the irony here. <laughs> We've done 75 episodes and we haven't gotten anywhere. We're I used to live over there, and when we moved, then we moved over there to North Washington and then down there to, to uh, South Dunn. And, uh, and now I'm right back next door to where it all started. So we're taking stock. This is a deeply spiritual moment for us as we look back at our history and take stock of where we are. Where are we? Where was I? Um, we started out over there, and uh, now we've come full circle to this place. And in that spirit, I thought we'd mix our final drink for this episode, a boomerang. You want to put in some hot damn cinnamon schnapps. We usually um, reuse our, our booze bottles until they're empty. And the next thing you want to add is, is some gin. Now we have here a big bottle of McCormick's extra dry gin um, because um, the comedy here is, is dry. I mean, there's very little um, like broad humor at all or broad mindedness or anything really broad. Uh, next thing that we need to add here um, is some, uh, some vermouth. This I've, I've stolen from my roommate because I don't have any of my own. Ugh. As you've seen, um, people are pretty hospitable toward us. We just kind of take advantage of that and, uh, and try to, try to um, pour it all in. That's, that's what we try to do. Then some bitters um, because, you know, I'm frankly a little bit bitter that, that here it's been like two and a half years that we've been doing this show and uh, we haven't gotten anywhere. We're right back where we started from. Just add a couple of dashes. You'll want to garnish it with a real boomerang. B bo boomerang. B boomerang. Hand painted by aboriginals. Just kind of stick it in there and, and oh, stir, stir it. it. Oh, well, yeah, but you kind of let it leave it sticking out when you drink it. <laughs> well, that's really handy. Mmm, wow. So in the spirit of, uh, of, of this kind of rotating, going back to whence we came thing, uh, as, a, as a little thing here while we're uh, rolling the credits, I'm going to throw this boomerang and just see what happens. So let's check it out. Where is it? Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, it didn't come back. But okay. Well, let me show you how to throw one. Oh, okay. So Jay, spilling his drink over there, Jay had this theory about that you would throw the... Um, the boomerang overhand. Well, you know, of course, as any Aboriginal knows, um, no. you don't throw it overhand, you throw it like this. I know that, of course, because of my days amongst the Bushmen in Australia. Now the price is so high and it's never coming down, but it seems like everybody's got a bag in this town. I guess it's getting big, the story's getting out. People Finally learning what the herb is all about It's the most important crop to me People should stop and see That the government's running a monopoly On the marijuana industry Man, it'd be great if the weeds were for free Legalize it Legalize it Legalize it